Hey everyone, Heyday Guides here, and today I'm super excited to be bringing you a brand new Let's Play mini series with a brand new video layout and some awesome in video features. But before I get into that, I'm also happy to announce that AppNana has decided to sponsor the first few videos in the series. For those of you that don't know what AppNana is, it's a great app that you can use that rewards you for downloading free apps and trying them out. And some of the rewards include iTunes gift cards, which you can use to get free diamonds in Heyday. If you haven't checked it out already, I suggest you do. I'll make sure to leave the link down below in the description, and also you can click on their icon to the right if you want to learn more. As I'm sure you have already guessed by now, this mini-series will be focusing on catching all 30 different fish in the Heyday fishing. One of the in-video features that I've decided to add is on the left you will see all the information about the next fish that I am going to catch. For the areas, I've decided just to number them 1 through 8, with 1 being right in front of the house and going counterclockwise around. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Also, just to give everyone an idea of the different circle sizes, I've gone ahead and thrown together a side-by-side -side video comparing the three different ones. Lastly, on the right, I left quick links to skip forward or back in the video, so you can skip to where I catch new fish in the video if you so choose. Now let's go ahead and get started catching some fish. When I first started the video, I was hoping to go in order of catching the fish as they appear in the scrapbook. I was going for the chopper red horse here, which also has the same lure and circle size and mostly the same areas as the Hung Chen, but as you can see I got the Hung Chen first. One way you can usually tell which fish you have on your line between these two is by how much it fights. Usually the red horse will not put up much of a fight while the Hung Chen will put up quite a bit, which is what we saw when I caught the first Hung Chen. I'm going to go ahead and fast things forward here a little bit as it gets kind of slow here. Um, as you can see, the fish that I got on the line right here was fighting quite a bit, so I go, so I went ahead and let it go since I'm guessing it was probably another Hu Chen. If you're wondering why I've only been talking about these two fish so far, it's because they are the only two that be, can be caught with the worm lore. This fish that I got on my line here, as you can see, did not put up much fight, and as you can see, we got our chopper red horse now. I'm going to speed things up here again so you don't have to sit around and watch me as I try to decide what I'm doing next here. <laughs> I finally decided on using a green lure over here by the waterfall as I was going after the roach which is the second fish in the scrapbook. Ended up catching a green sunfish which works out because it's another new fish that I haven't gotten. I'm going to keep trying to go after the roach with green lures. The problem with using green lures is there are a ton of different fish that you can catch. I believe there are 10 or so, and as you can see, again we didn't catch the roach, but caught another green sunfish. I'm going to speed up the video again as there's some more downtime here. And while I do that, I'll take this time to ask everyone what they think of this new uh, mini-series. If you have any questions about fishing or anything, go ahead and comment down below and I'll make sure to answer them in the next video. Once again, I'm using a green lure here. Um, this fish is not too hard to bring in, puts up a little bit of struggle. And as you can see when we bring it in and catch it, we got a northern pike, which is another new fish. I believe that was my last green lure that I had, so I'm going to go ahead and cre uh, make some more lo green lures real quick. going to go ahead and speed over their creation time um, using some diamonds here, thanks to App Nana. And now time to head back out to the pond and see what other uh, fish I can catch with these green lures. going to go ahead and speed the video up again. Also, as you can see, if you're new to fishing, um, using the green lures are a great way to uh, catch some new fish and you will be able to get a bunch of diamonds too from it since you get rewards for every new fish you catch. Uh, I went ahead and let a few fish uh, off my line there. I'm not exactly sure why I was doing that. But after that, we go ahead and try to pull this fish in. And as you can see here, we get another new fish, which is the yellow perch. I'll go ahead and fast forward again until we get to the next fish that I catch. You may have seen that a lot of the times I drop my lure. Um, I do this for a variety of reasons. Sometimes it's that um, I'm looking for a fish that 
does not put up a big fight, and if it does put up a big fight, I'll drop my lure because that usually indicates it's not the fish that I'm looking for. Also, if the circle size is different than what I'm looking for, then I'll also drop the lure. Um, it's completely safe to do this because you don't actually lose your lure, you get it back. Uh, I finally decided to go after this fish and catch this one as it seemed like it was different than any one that I had caught before. And as you can see here, we got a brand new fish, which is the largemouth bass. I'm going to go ahead and speed the video up one last time, and I'm actually going to skip over the next two fish I catch, since um, I've already caught them before. They turn out to be a northern pike and a yellow perch, which you saw me catch earlier in this video. Um, while we're skipping forward, uh, let me ask everyone this. Uh, what do you guys think of the uh, heyday fishing? Um, is there any reasons that you've been you know, hesitant to try it out? I know me personally, I didn't really want to go through the fishing since I didn't want to, you know, spend all my vouchers trying to catch the fish, especially when I didn't know uh, where they are, how to catch them. So I decided to wait quite a while, as you can see, until other people have posted around, like, on the heyday forums about where to catch them and whatnot. Also, if there's anyone out there that has been fishing for quite a while, uh, are there any fishes that you know you're stuck on that you haven't been able to catch no matter what you try how hard you try um, be great to let me know about those so I can you know kind of look ahead and see if there's anything I can figure out and maybe help you out too just go ahead and leave a comment down below to any of those questions and I'll be sure to answer them in my next video so I've gone ahead and used up all my green vouchers and this is my last green lure that I have and I decided to go ahead and try to catch this fish, which turned out to be great since it turned out to be another new one, which would be the Shadow Bass, which makes a total of seven new fish. And brings us to the end of this first Let's Play video. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed this. Um, make sure if you have any questions, comments, anything, comment down below. Uh, subscribe and stay tuned for part two, three, and four, and five, and maybe six. We'll see how long it goes for. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone.